Are Westerns making a comeback? No, but it's always nice when they show up every now and again. Baccarat takes place in the fictional small town, which resides in a futuristic Brazil where the town matriarch recently passed away. This has a profound effect on the residents, although things begin taking a turn when mysterious people start showing up and the feel of being watched is looming. Now the members of the town have to band together to not just see what these strange events are all about, but keep everything they know and love safe. I'm always down for a good movie that appears to be this sort of genre bender, and that seemed to be the case when I saw the trailers for this movie. A bloody, colorful action movie that had the look and feel of a western without taking place in a traditional western setting. Though otherwise, I didn't really know much else about this movie. The director, Kleber Mendoza Fio, and I apologize if I'm getting that name wrong, but I didn't know any of his work, and I also wasn't familiar with any of the actors outside of Udo Kier. You know, that one guy who shows up in plenty of popular movies, but always in the most random role. But I was glad I didn't know much about this because it offered some surprises and it made for a fun time. So let's discuss. From a visual standpoint, this was great. The color palette was really bright, there was a great sense of style to some of the set pieces and costume design, and some shots were gorgeous. Theo, the director, really has a keen eye behind the camera. And this was also really tense, though the way it would build up suspense felt very meticulous at times. Several of the conversations reminded me of something out of a Tarantino movie. It'll be this seemingly normal conversation, and one person may be suspicious of the other person's intentions, and you can just hear it in their voices, they're both waiting for the other to slip up and reveal their true intentions. And then it comes to a head and leads to this explosive, action-packed moment. There were several times throughout the movie where it had me on the edge of my seat like that. This movie's paced with a lot of slow burn moments like that at first, but in the second half it moves towards a more action-packed approach, and because it gradually builds up to this differing tone, going from slow moving to slow burn with explosive finale to just full-on action-packed, it doesn't feel jarring. And in that Tarantino vein that I mentioned earlier, there are plenty of moments with dark humor. With snappy exchanges among the villagers, even after this death takes place that kicks off the movie's events. And there'd also be these quips or sarcastic exchanges that took place right before or right after something violent occurred. And to laugh as something horrible's happening can make you feel uncomfortable at times. But it still worked out well and there were plenty of entertaining moments as a result. It does take a bit for this movie to really get things off the ground. That slow moving first half is one of this movie's biggest weaknesses. It takes its time getting us accustomed to the town of Baccarat. We get to meet some of the villagers as well as some of the other people around town, but parts of this first half never really have that much consequence in the second half. And it's not really until about 30 minutes in where we get the first sense that things might be off in the town, or that there's something more going on behind the scenes. So you gotta stick with it a bit. And this really isn't a character-based movie. We do meet plenty of people, and there are characters who we see enough of that they're the main characters by default. There's also a loose arc about one character who wasn't living in Baccarat for some time and then comes back at the beginning of the movie. But it's not really the driving force behind most of the movie's events. But because there's not much character development, and we're not not really made to actively root for many of these characters, it's just difficult to care about them as much as we should have. This movie was fun. It does take a little bit to get things going, and even when it does, it's not this action-packed extravaganza right away. But when this movie hits, it hits hard. The fact that it doesn't do much in the way of character development can be a problem, but it's very tense, has plenty of moments of dark humor, has a lot to offer visually, and it leads to a great second half. Overall, this was solid. Baccarat gets a 7.5 out of 10. This is one of those movies that definitely deserves to be seen a lot more than it probably will end up being seen. It's actually available to stream now, but specifically through the Alamo Drafthouse's website, and that's not something that's widely advertised. But if you're into something a little different, check it out. So let me know, did you see Baccarat, or are you planning to see it, and what were your thoughts? Did you enjoy the action? Did you not mind the pacing? And what out of the ordinary movies have you seen that you also enjoyed? Let me know in the comments below, and as always, if you like what you see, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time.